What's up guys? Hello, welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for being here. We are going to be unpacking Like opening up some booster packs today for the new Magic the Gathering set. This is uh, I've always been a Magic the Gathering fan I just I take kind of spurts where I'm not really into it and then now with this new set coming out I'm extremely excited about it. So I think we are going to definitely be doing a lot more content with Magic the Gathering. Um, probably going to be moving more into this instead of like Planko and, and other stuff and, and kind of be more into uh, some Magic the Gathering stuff. I think for a little while anyway. At least for a little while. So we got 50 packs of the new set. And we've already got our first card here. We got a Legendary Planeswalker. We got Kea. So let's see. What does she do? Creates uh, Spirit Tokens. Uh, 30 days of Planko, you've already, it's 31 days of Planko, you've already got your video for the day. It's already up, so, today's video's already up. This, this has nothing to do with that. Um, put a ghost form counter on up to one target. Why is the music so loud? Hold on. Turn the music down a little bit. Oh, okay, well, she's gone now. I'm gonna turn that down. Adjust options, audio. Turn the music down a little bit. There we go. That's probably better. All right, so I guess, hey, let's go to uh, packs. We're gonna start opening up some packs. Now we're gonna start with a couple of packs that I've got left over from some other sets that I haven't opened yet. I've got some Throne of Eldraine. So let's go ahead and tear in that. Resolute Rider. One white or black gains life link to in a turn. Resolute Rider gains indestructible. Ooh. Ooh. I think I needed that. Oh, I got an uncommon wild card. That'd be handy. Um, Garenberg Squire. Borrow Witches. Enters a battlefield return target night card from graveyard to hand. She's expensive, though. Ah, uh, got a little spider with reach. She's got a flutter fox. While you control an artifact or enchantment, it has flying. Eh. Eh. Uh, all right, so that's that pack. What's our rare? <clears throat> Acclaimed Contender. When he enters the battlefield, if you control another knight, look at the top five cards of your library. You may reveal a knight, aura, equipment, or legendary artifact card from among them. Put it in your hand for the rest of the bottom library. A 3 3 for 3 is already pretty good, but. His added bonus there, that, that might be all right. I'm sure other people have already went over these cards because these are older sets, but. All right, we also have some Zendikar. Let's pop into these. Some of these I haven't seen. I got a common wild card out of that. Um, Enchant Land. It's a 4-4 elemental with reach and haste. That's still land. When it dies, turn that card to its owner's hand. Huh. Huh. Uh, let's see. Malakar Mars. Choose target creature. You lose two life. Wait. Is it both? It's a land and a card? I'm not sure how you play that. I've been out of magic for a little bit. Choose target creature. You lose two life until end of turn. That creature gains when it dies. Returns to the battlefield tapped under its owner control. Uh, let's see what we got over here. Fearless Fledgling, Landfall. Whenever land enters the battlefield on your show, put a little plus one, plus one counter on it. <clears throat> hmm. That's actually, probably would be handy in my other deck I was using. Mm, Chan Land is a four. Okay, I already looked at that. Blood Reckoning has a kicker cost. Turn target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. This spell was kicked. Turn two card target creature cards from your graveyard to your hand. That's actually, that's all right. That's an all right card. Expedition Champion. Gets plus two. Kabira Outrider. When Kabira Outrider enters the battlefield, target can reach her. Okay, yeah. What's our rare? Oh, I got a nice land card there. Beautiful. All right. Next pack. Merfolk Falconer. Kaiso Cleric. Tabarax, Hope's Demise. 
Tabarax hopes demise is life leak as long as it has five or more plus one plus one counters on it. Whenever a non-token creature control dies, put a plus one plus one counter on Tabarax. That creature was a cleric. Draw a card and lose one life. Life link as long as it, uh, ooh ooh. I like that card. I kind of want to do something with that. Uh, Might of Marasa. Target creature gets plus three plus three until end of turn. The spell is kicked. The creature gets plus five plus five. Okay. Uh, scale of the Heights. Uh, plus one plus one counter on up to one target creature. Gain two life. Play an additional land this turn. Draw a card. That does a lot for three. That seems like a good card. Dauntless Survivor. When Dauntless Survivor enters the battlefield, put a plus one. Uh, Survivor. Okay, cool. Blood Price. Look at the top four cards of your library. Put two of them in your hand. Rest on the bottom. Lose two life. I don't think so. I don't like losing life myself unless I have to. Oh, I got another one of those. A Gnarled Colony. Got a Highborn Vampire. Practice Tactics. Choose target attacking or blocking creature. Practice target tactics deals damage to that creature equal to twice the number of creatures in your party. Target attacking. Ooh. What's my rare? Oh, I got a Mythic Rare card. Nice. Thundering Spark Mage. Thundering Spark Mage enters the battlefield. It deals X damage to target creature. Planeswalker, where X is the number of creatures in your party. For those who don't know how to play Magic or anything like that, I, I won't be going into details about how the game is played today or anything like that. You can This game is absolutely free. You can pop into it. You can get into the game, play around with it. It has a tutorial. It shows you how to play the game. Um... I'm just gonna, basically going to be opening packs today. So we're, right here is what we're getting to, is these 50 packs right here. I just got to open up these other packs here first. So what these wild cards are, it's different than regular magic cards, like opening up the actual packs in person. Because these, I can trade these in for any card that I want. I can turn this mythic rare wild card into any mythic rare that I actually want, which is really good. So that's how that works. All right, and draw a card when she enters the field. Okay, I haven't seen that yet. All right, now, some Core 2021. Haven't opened any of these yet. I got a Goblin Arsonist. Uh, I got a Pitchburn Devil. I got a Tome Anima. Can't be blocked as long as you've drawn two or more cards this turn. Oh. Um, Enchant Creature gets plus two, plus two. Has first strike. It's a Knight. Nice. Alpine Watchdog. Vigilance. Tide Skimmer. Whenever you attack with two or more creatures to fly and draw a card. Okay. A Gormond. Additional cost to cast a spell. Sacrifice a creature. No. That that seems... What? Flying and Trample. Okay, sure. It's cost six. Each opponent sacrifices a creature. Well, I already sacrificed a creature to even play this spell. I have to sacrifice... No, that's a, like a crappy card. I got a Stormwing Entity, though. Uh, spell cost three less to cast if you've cast an instant or sorcery spell this turn. Has Scry 2 on it. Okay. Next pack. Warden of the Woods... Whenever Warden of the Woods becomes a target of a spell or ability and opponent controls, you may draw two cards. That's pretty good. You see a Dalgo? Yeah, you saw the Alpine Watchdog. Epitaph Golem. Put target card from your graveyard on the bottom of your library. That's a 3-5. Sure. Got a common wild card there. Read the Tides. Capture Sphere. Village Rites. Garrick's Gorehorn. 5 for a 7-3. I don't like that 3. And I got a rare wild card. Well, crap. Okay. Guess that's alright. Last pack of this. Furious Rise. At the beginning of their end step, you control a creature with power 4 or greater. Exile the top card of your library. You may play that card until you exile another card with Furious Rise. I got a Fetid Imp. 
I got the anointed chorister silent darts. Wow, that looks like Assassin's Creed right there. Um, Colossal Dreadmaul. Forgotten Sentinel. Got an uncommon wild card. What's my rare? Animal Sanctuary. Oh, kitties. I got kitties. Um, tap to add color to mana. Pay two. Put a 1-1 counter on target bird, cat, dog, goat, ox, or snake. Huh. That seems like an interesting card. It's probably crap, but it seems like an interesting card. All right, guys. Now, now we've got all the other little packs that I had there to open. Let's get into the nit and gritty of what this what this particular live stream is. Is un Basically, we're going to be unpacking 50-some Kaldheim cards. Now, I could do them 10 at a time, apparently, but I want to do one pack at a time because I don't really... I haven't watched much of what's in this set other than just I've seen a few cards here and there, but I haven't watched any of the... I'm looking at any spoilers or anything. Nothing like that, so... I want to do one at a time on these, pretty much. <clears throat> we got... Run Ashore. Choose one or both. The owner of Target Non-Land Permanent. Puts it on top of its bottom or library. Turn target. Okay. That seems like a lot. Oh, but I can choose both. Dwarven Hammer. When it enters the battlefield, you may pay two. If you do create a 2-1 red dwarf berserker creature, then attach the hammer to it. And he has trample. Okay. Uh, Glade Warden. Changeling. Exile target creature card from your graveyard. Put two 1-1 one, one counters on target creature. Activate this ability only time anytime you can play a sorcery. That's not bad. Struggler for Skimfar. Uh, put a plus one plus one counter on target creature you control. Then that creature fights. Oh, yeah. Sculpture of Winter. Untap target Snowland. Ooh. Death Nail Berserker. Uh, Death Nail Berserker dies. If its power was three or more... Create a plus or a 2 2 black zombie berserker creature token. So when it dies and it was bigger than what it starts out as, you get an extra creature. That's that's kind of cool. Um, this one has reach. Oh, it's only a 1. It's a 1 2 for 1 with reach. Tap an untapped creature you control. Add 1 mana. It's like a bird of paradise. It's not bad. It's. Any one man of any color. Yeah, that's kind of like a... That's not bad. Let's see what we got for our rare. Oh, I like it already. Just the art alone. Righteous Valkyrie. Whenever another angel or cleric enters the battlefield under your control, you gain life equal to that creature's toughness. Oh, wait. This costs three? It's a flying two for a creature. And if you play another angel or cleric at any time... You gain life equal to that creature's toughness. As long as you have at least 7 life more than your starting life total, creatures you control get plus 2, plus 2. I like that card. I like that card a lot. Alright, next. Ooh, I got a common wild card. Sophorus Mire. It's a tap land. It's a tap snow land. Uh, Raven Wings. Crypt creature gets plus one, plus zero. That's flying. As a bird. In addition to its other creature types. Crypt two. Cinder Heart Giant. A seven six for... That's pretty costly. When it dies, it deals seven damage to a creature an opponent controls chosen at ramen. random. Random? Chosen at random. Ooh, that's pretty. Glittering Frost. Enchant Land. Enchanted Land is Snow. Whenever Enchanted Land is tapped for mana, its controller adds an additional one mana of any color. That's that's a pretty card. Uh, up here we have Clarion Spirit. Whenever you cast your second spell each turn, create a 1-1 one, one white spirit creature token with flying. That would, that'd be really good in white weenie. Uh, Skimfall Elder Hall. Enters the battlefield tapped. Add green. Pay a bunch Sacrifice it. Up to one target creature. Don't control. Gets negative two and create two 
Hmm. All right. What's my rare? Bark Channel Pathway. At green. Or at white. Why is that two cards? Oh, get that one. All right. Next pack. Craven to cool. Ah, let's see here. Iron Vert deals five damage to target tapped creature and Fortail. Fortail is during your turn you may pay two and exile this card from your hand face down. Cast on a later turn for its Fortail cost. Huh. That's a neat. I haven't seen that before in Magic. I've never seen that before. Giant Ox uh, cruise vehicles using its toughness rather than its power. Seize the spoils. <laughs> Sorry, had to yawn. Uh, as an additional cast uh, cost to cast the spell, discard a card. Draw two cards and create a treasure token. Treasure token lets you sacrifice this artifact and add one mana of any color. Lots of mana on this Elder Fang Disciple. That's cool looking. I like that. When Elder Fang Disciple enters the battlefield, each opponent discards a card. Way down. As an additional cost to cast a spell, exile a creature card from your graveyard. Target creature gets negative three, negative three, until end of turn. It's not bad. Um, Finn, the Fang Bearer. Oh, he has Death Touch. Whenever a creature you control with Death Touch deals combat damage to a player, that player gets two poison counters. A player with ten or more poison counters loses the game. And he has Death Touch. Interesting. So they're gonna have to they're gonna have to block that. Otherwise they're gonna get poison tokens. You can design a poison deck around that, probably work with that. Crush the weak. It's a sorcery. Deals two damage to each creature. If a creature dealt damage this way would die this turn. Exile it instead. And it has foretail on it as well. Not bad. What is my rare? Cyclone Summoner. When Cyclone Summoner enters the battlefield, if you cast it from your hand, return all permanents to their owner's hand except for giants, wizards, and lands. Huh. I don't think that's that, I don't think that's a very good card. I could be wrong. I don't, I don't see it being very good. Next pack. Guardian Gladewalker. When Guardian Gladewalker enters the battlefield, put a plus one, plus one counter on. Wait. Yeah, that's the first time I've seen that. Okay. Uh, invoke the Divine. Destroy target artifact or enchantment. Gain four life. Seize the spoils. We saw, we, we saw that one. Uh, here, this one. Uh, Brian Barrel Intruder. Uh, when he enters the battlefield, target creature and opponent controls gets plus or negative two. Negative zero until end of turn. Story Seeker has lifelink. It's a two, two, two for two with lifelink. White weenie. Not Vold Slumbermount. Sounds like a nice Dutch name. Um, adds. Let's see. If it enters the battlefield tapped. It adds red. But you can pay a bunch. Sacrifice it to destroy target land. And create a 4 4 green Tro warrior. With trample. Huh. That's kind of cool. I'll probably never use that. What is what is up with that? Okay. <laughs> As this saga enters and after your draw step, add the lore counter. Sacrifice after three. You may sacrifice a creature. When you do, Carter's Vicious Return deals three damage to any target. See, I don't know how these sagas work. I've never played a magic game with sagas, and I have no idea how they actually work. I may do something with this just to figure out how it actually works. All right. Um, the Raven's Warning. As this saga enters and after your draw step, add a lure counter sacrifice. So are these... It doesn't like those. Uh, create a 1-1 one, one blue bird creature token with flying. You gain two life. Whenever one of your more or your creatures control with flying does combat damage to a player this turn, look at that player's hand and draw a card. You may put a card of your own from outside the game on top of your library. Hmm. 
Make the okay. Never out from outside the game. So you could get it from your your side deck. That's interesting. Next pack. Oh, we got a woodland chasm. That's pretty. That's really pretty. Mammoth growth. Target creature gets plus four, plus four. Ravenous lindworm. When ravenous lindworm enters the battlefield, gain four life. Oh, we haven't seen this one yet. You rootless you. You are oh, gonna. I couldn't help it. Uh, search your library for a creature card with power or toughness six or greater. Reveal it. Put it in your hand. And then shuffle your library. I don't know. He's pretty costly. Waking the Trolls. Destroy target land. Put target land card from a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. From a graveyard. So you can destroy one of their lands. Next turn, take it from them. And in third turn, choose target opponent. If they control fewer lands than you, create a number of 4-4 four, four green troll warrior creatures with trample equal to the difference. Huh. I can see that being kind of deadly, actually. What we got here? Behold! Behold! Multiverse! Scry 2! Draw two cards. Or tell for two. Oh, we got a Valkyrie Sword. When Valkyrie Sword enters the battlefield, pay five. If you do... Create a 4-4 Angel Warrior creature token with flying and vigilance and attach the sword to it. So basically for four five for six mana you get a six one or a six five flying vigilance angel. Huh. It's easy to wake trolls. It's just post on the internet. Coma's faithful. Life link. When it dies, each player mills three cards. Oh, gonna do some milling. Uh, let's see. Stalwart Valkyrie, Angel Warrior. Pay two. Exile creature card from your graveyard rather than pay the spell's mana cost. What? So just get just take out a creature from my graveyard and play it for free. Oh, no, you, no, you have to pay two. Okay. Um, whenever you cast your second spell each turn, gain two life. We saw that before. Maha, the Bretagard Protector. Legendary creature, human warrior. Other creatures you control get plus one, plus one. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, create a 1-1 one, one white human warrior creature token. That is kind of cool. like that. The Bloody Massacre. First turn, create a 2-3 red demon berserker creature token with menace. That thing on the right hand side. Whenever a berserker attacks this turn, you draw a card and lose one life. Well, I don't like that. Add three mana, or add one red mana for each berserker you control until end of turn. You don't lose this mana as steps and phases end. What? Oh yeah, that seems like hard to keep track of. Next pack. Usher of the Fallen. Spirit Warrior. Boast. Create a 1-1 one, one white human warrior creature. Okay. Feed the Serpent. Exile target creature or planeswalker. Ooh. Ooh. I like that. Dwarven Reinforcements. Create 2-1 two, one, two, two, one red dwarf berserker creatures with foretell. Master Scald. When it enters the battlefield, you may exile a creature card from your graveyard if you do return target art. Yeah. King Harald's Revenge. Until end of turn, target creature gets plus one, plus one for each creature you control and gains trample. It must be blocked this turn if able. Not bad, not bad. Skimfar's Shadow Sage. Uh, ooh, this one has a lot of text. When Skimfar's Shadow Sage... Sh Saddle Sage? <laughs> uh, whatever. Enters the battlefield, choose one. 
each opponent loses X life, where X is the greatest number of creatures you control that have a creature type in common. Huh. You gain X life, where X is the greatest number. Okay, so you can choose one of those. What's my rare? Eseka's Chariot. When Eseka's Chariot enters the battlefield, create two, two, two green cat. Oh, look at the kitty. Uh, whenever a second cherry attacks, create a token. That's a copy of target token you control. Or as a crew of four. Huh. <laughs> All right, I'm, I don't even know what to do with that card. All right. <clears throat> Next pack. Hey, there's King Harold. Uh, when Harald, King of the Skimfar, enters the battlefield, look at the top five cards of your library. You may reveal an Elf, Warrior, or Tyvar card from among them and put it in your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your library. So, when he enters the battlefield, look at the top five cards. Reveal one of those creature types. Put it in my hand. Put the rest of them on the bottom. 3-3. Three, three. He's a 3-2 three, for three. He has Menace. Which means he can't be blocked except by two or more creatures. Call the Forge Master. Whenever another non-token creature you control dies, if it was enchanted or equipped, return it to its owner's hands. Creature tokens you control that are enchanted or equipped get plus one, plus one. All right, anything new down here? We got two new ones down here. <clears throat> Depart the realm. Return target non-land permanent to its owner's hand. It's basically a return card. Uh, and Craven Hulk can't block alone. Hmm. Okay. What's my rare? Blood on the Snow. That sounds cool. Choose one. Destroy all creatures. Or destroy all planeswalkers. Then return a creature or planeswalker card with converted mana cost X or less from your graveyard to the battlefield where X is the amount of snow spent to cast this spell. <clears throat> hmm. Hmm. Okay, that's kind of cool. Next pack. Rip and tear. Ice tunnel. That's pretty. Ice tunnel enters the battlefield tapped. I add blue or black. Okay. Got another woodland chasm. Oh, we got wings of the cosmos. Is that a wolf with wings? That's interesting. Target creature gets plus one, plus three, and gains flying until in a turn. Untap it. Oh, oh. Squash. This spell costs three less to cast if you control a giant. <laughs> That's awesome. Squash deals six damage to target creature or planeswalker. Frostbite. Frostbite deals two damage to target creature or planeswalker. If you control three or more snow permanents, it deals three damage instead. Okay. Avalanche Caller. Target snow land you control becomes a 4-4 elemental creature with hexproof and haste until in the turn is still the land. That's cool. <clears throat> My rare. Oh, it's a mythic rare. Starnheim Unleashed. Two white, two colorless. Create a 4-4 white angel warrior creature token with flying and vigilance. If this spell was foretold, create X of those tokens instead. Create a 4 4 white. Okay. If you foretell it, it's going to cost double. So if I wanted to cast two of them, it would cost me four. Huh. Uh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. What's next? Next pack. Run amok. Amuck, 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 amuck. <laughs> that reminds me of uh, Hocus Pocus. Uh, target attacking creature gets plus three, plus three, and gains trample until end of turn. A null. Counter target spell or enchantment. Hoggy Mob. Troll Berserkers. Oh, there's a lot of trolls in this set. Uh, Hoggy Mob deals one damage to any target. Vault Robber. Exile target creature card from your graveyard. Create a treasure token. Fearless Pup. 
Oh, look at a puppy. Uh, first strike. Boast. Cost three. Fearless pup gets plus two, plus zero, two on a turn. First, oh, it's got first strike. Boast. Okay, attack this turn only once each turn. So, huh. Okay. Uh, Fearless Liberator. Create a 2 1 dwarf. Okay. Fall of the Imposter. Put a 1 1 counter target or counter on top of target creature. Do that for the first one. Do that in the second one. Exile a target creature or exile a creature with the greatest power among creatures target opponent controls. Eh. <clears throat> What's my rare? Arnie Broken Brow. Does he have a. <laughs> uh, look at the flavor text. I headbutted a troll and won. That's hilarious. Uh, he has. He's a 3 3 for 3 with haste. Legendary. And he has boast of 1. You may change Arnie Broken Barrel's base power to one plus the greatest power among other creatures you control until end of turn. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. I think that's everything on that one. All right, next pack. <clears throat> We're 40 minutes in. We've only opened 10 of these packs so far. But we're getting quicker because some of these cards we're getting like uh, doubles up, like these here. So, Glacier Floodplain. Look at that. That is absolutely beautiful. Add blue or white mana. It's a tap land, but it's a snow land. It's a, it's a tap snow land. Doomscar Titan. When Doomscar Titan enters the battlefield, creatures you control get plus one, plus zero, and gain haste until end of turn. Meh. Oh, I like her. What's she do? Flying in lifelink. Whenever you cast your second spell each turn, look at the top three cards of your library. Put one of them in your hand. The rest into your graveyard. I kind of want to design a deck around her. Just because I think she's cool. Next card. Oh, look at that. <clears throat> Lots of pretty colors. I'm blinded by the pretty colors. Eseka, god of the tree. Add one mana of any color. Other legendary creatures you control have vigilance and add one. Uh, everything becomes birds of paradise. <laughs> That's essentially what that is. Um, and also, let's see, prismatic bridge. At the beginning of your upkeep, reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a creature or planeswalker card. Put that card onto the battlefield and the rest onto the bottom of your library in any random order. So wait, 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 wait. It costs one of every color. But when you play it, at the beginning of your upkeep, so at the at the beginning of each turn, you start revealing cards in the top of your library until you reveal a creature or a planeswalker, and then you put that onto the battlefield. And then put the rest of them back on the bottom of your library in a random order. Man, five color cards are really hard to play, but damn. <clears throat> that is a good card. Uh, oh, here we have the blue and green Snowland. Rhymewood Falls. That's pretty. What's this? Ruined Crown. When Rune Crown enters the battlefield, you may search the library hand and or graveyard for a Rune card. Put it onto the battlefield attached to Rune Crown. If you search your library this way, shuffle it. Crypt Creature Kit plus one plus one. I like how they just tapped that on the end of it. It's like, oh yeah, you Crypt Creature Kit plus one plus one. Um, Axegard Braggart. Drovan Warrior. Ooh, Dread Rider. That's cool. Oh, he is expensive. He is too expensive. Um, let's see. I have exile tar exile creature card from your graveyard. Target opponent loses three life. I do like that card a whole lot, though. What's this one up here? Turgrid Shadow. Each player sacrifices cre two creatures. I don't like that. <clears throat> 
Berge, the god of storytelling. Whenever you cast a spell, add red. To end the turn, you don't lose this mana as steps and phases end. Creatures you control can boast twice during each of your turns rather than once. Or, Legendary Artifact. Discard a card, exile top two cards of the library. May play those cards this turn. What? Okay, that's pretty good. Hmm. Next. Provoke the Trolls. <laughs> Provoke the Trolls deals three damage to any target. If creature is dealt damage this way, it gets plus five until end of turn. Also, another good way to provoke the trolls. Just say something bad about Planet Zoo. I don't usually do it. Um, Undersea Invader. Undersea Invader enters the battlefield tapped. That is a, that's a giant giant. Mistwalker. Changeling. Gets plus one negative one to any turn. Hmm. Horizon Seeker. Search your library for basic land card. Reveal it. Put it in your hand. Shove your library. What's my rare? The Dragon Ken Berserker. Boast abilities you activate cost one less to have activated for each dragon you control. Boast. Create a 5-5 five, five red dragon. So he makes dragons. Dragons. So oh, damn. Next pack. Carfowl Harbinger. Zombie Wizard. Uh, now wait. How can you be a zombie and a wizard? Add blue. Spend this mana only to foretell a card from your hand or cast for an instant sorcery spell. Huh. Skull Raid. Target opponent discards two cards. If fewer than two cards were discarded this way, you draw cards equal to the difference. Meh. Frenzied Raider. Demon Berserker. I haven't seen any goblins yet. I've seen trolls, giants, changelings, no goblins. Looks like goblins got replaced with demons in this one. Uh, whenever you activate a boast ability, put a plus one, plus one counter on Frenzied Raider. Okay. My rare card is... Varagoth, the Blood Sky Sire. Oh, he has Death Touch. Boast of two. Target... I don't, I'm not paying much attention to these boast abilities. Activate this ability only if this creature attacked this turn and only once each turn. So he has to attack first. And you only need to do it once. But then you can't. So after you attack, I can pay two. Target player searches their library for a card and shuffles their library and puts that card on top of it. That's horrible. Oh, wait, target player. So I can target myself. Okay, that's not so bad then. All right, next. Do, 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 do. Uh, a few things I've already seen. We have a Yeti. Are you guys Yeti for this? We have a Yeti. Um, one and a Snow Mana. Frost Speak Yeti. Can't be blocked this turn. Oh, Makes him unblockable if I use Snow Mana. Not bad. Bound and go. Enchant permanent. Enchant permanent can't attack, block, or crew vehicles. And its activated abilities can't be activated unless they're mana abilities. Oh, so, okay, so it's a pacify, essentially. Um, on Draugr Thought Thief. thief. Draugr Thought Thief. That's hard to say, actually. When a Draugr Thought Thief enters the battlefield, look at the top card of the target player's library. You may put that card in their graveyard. When he enters the battlefield. Okay, so it's only when he enters the battlefield. What's my rare? My rare is a glorious protector. Uh, enters the battlefield. You may exile any number. Any? Any? I can't talk tonight. Any number of non-angel creatures you control until glorious protector leaves the battlefield. Exile them, and then they all come back when that dies. Hmm. Hmm. Next pack. Oh, we got Arnie Slays the Troll. 
Uh, target creature you control fights up to one target creature you don't control. Add red mana. Put two plus one, plus one counters on up to one target creature you control. And last but not least, gain life equal to the greatest power among creatures you control. Okay. Uh, down here we have Dogged Pursuit. The beginning you're up in step. Each opponent loses one life, and you gain one life. Huh. I like that. Gold Maul Champion. Creature. Droven Warrior. Boast. Tap target creature. Okay. My rare is... Tabalt's Chicory. Tabalt must be like Loki. Of course he's a demon looking guy. I like that art. I like that art a lot. Counter target spell. What? This is a red counter spell. Huh. Choose one, two, or three at random. Its controller mills that many cards, then exiles cards from the top of the library until they exile a non-land card with a different name than that spell. They may cast that card without paying its mana cost. And they put the exiled cards on the bottom of that. I don't like that. <laughs> that seems complicated and useless. Next pack. Ah, oh, score an effigy. Uh, foretell for zero, so two, three. Okay. Priest of the Haunted Edge. It's a zombie cleric. Sacrifice priest of the haunted edge. Target creature gets negative X, negative X until end of turn, where X is the number of snowlands. Okay. Demon Bolt. Four damage. Target creature planeswalker for three. Or foretell it. Funeral Longboat. Vigilance. So 3-3 three, three, Vigilance. Okay. Agar. The Freezing Flame. It's a red and blue card. Whenever a creature or planeswalker an opponent controls is dealt excess damage. If a giant wizard or spell you control dealt damage to it this turn, draw a card. The Draugr's Home. Um, Dragon's Home enters the battlefield. You may pay three. If you do, create a 2-2 two, two black zombie berserker creature token and attach Dragon's Helm to it. Creature creature gets plus 2, plus 3, has minus. Okay, right. what's my rare? Blight Step Pathway. Or Seer Step. Huh. Okay. Next. When we get down to 20, actually maybe, uh, yeah, when we get down to 30, I think, a couple more packs, we'll probably just open 10 at a time. We have uh, Grim Draugr, gets plus 1, plus 0, gains Menace until end of turn. That's cool. 3-2 three, uh, three, for 3, you can get Menace. Uh, Goldvine pick, that's neat. Crypt Creature gets plus 1, plus 1. We need Crypt Creature deals combat damage to a player. Create a treasure token. That's kind of cool. I might be able to do something with that. I, You know what? I'm suddenly thinking of a Snow White and Seven Dwarves deck. <laughs> I don't know what it would consist of. But since a lot of these things are snow, I'm sure we can find some kind of maiden or something that would be Snow White. And then we just make it dwarves. <laughs> that, just, that would be kind of neat. I, I totally want to do that. That's a deck we're going to play around with at some point. Uh, enchant permanent. When Rune Immortality enters the battlefield, draw a card. As long as Enchanted Permanent is a creature, it has Death Touch. As long as Enchanted Permanent is an equipment, the Crypt Creature has Death Touch. Okay. What is my rare? Tundra Fumaro. Fumaro. Deals four damage to creature or planeswalker. Add colorless mana for each snow mana spent to cast a spell. To end this turn, you don't lose this mana. As to wow. That is actually pretty good. Next pack. Wither Crown. You know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of uh, Rohan. The King of Rohan. Uh, Lord of the Rings. Yeah. Enchant creature. Enchant creature has base power zero and has the beginning of your upkeep. You lose one life unless you sacrifice this creature. Nice. Colossal Plow. Whenever Colossal Plow attacks, add three mana and gain three life until in the turn you don't lose this mana. Wow. 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 
Shackles of Treachery. Gain control of target creature until end of turn. Untap that creature until end of turn. Okay, so basically you take control of their creature. Uh, Demon Boat. I've seen that before. Kaya's Onslaught. Target creature gets plus one, plus one. Gains double strike until end of turn. Ooh. Uh, I don't know. This might be all right. Oh, I got a rare wild card. Nice. Wow. Got another Valkyrie, got another Goldvein pick. We have Masked Vandal. It's a shapeshifter. When it enters the battlefield, you may exile a target creature card from your graveyard. If you do, exile target artifact or enchantment an opponent controls. We got Village Rites. It's an additional cost to cast a spell, sacrifice a creature. Okay, so one and sacrifice a creature, draw two cards. I don't know about that. Uh, Immerstrom Raider. Enters the battlefield, you may discard a card if you do draw a card. Dual Strike. Cast your next instant or sorcery spell with convert a mana cost four or less this turn. Copy that spell. You may choose new targets for the copy. Oh. Huh. This plus one of those spells that does like four damage could really be handy. I could totally see that. <clears throat> Glorious Protector. We already, we already have it. Oh, I saw that one coming. Uh, counter target spell. Neat. Alright, so we're gonna open 10 packs. We're gonna do 10 packs now. I'm just gonna be curious how this works. I feel like... We should have gotten more cards out of that. <laughs> All right, Doomscar. That's new. Haven't seen that yet. Oh, that's like Wrath of God, but costs more. Uh, Rise of the Dreadmarn. Create X two two black zombie berserker, where X is the number of non-token creatures that died this turn. Kasama, God of the Voyage. Give me your upkeep. Oh wait, it just gave me the rares. That's how we're looking at. Is just the rares now. Okay, well I don't want to do that then. I'd rather rather do. I want to see all the cards. Um, Maskwood Nexus. Creatures you control are every creature type. Same is true for creature spells you control and creature. Hey, wait a minute. There was a spell, something that said something about however many creatures you control with the same type. That actually might come in handy. Um, Skimfar Avenger, Elven Berserker. Whenever another non-token elf reserve your intro dies, you draw a card and lose one life. Uh, nah. We got a mythic rare card. We already looked at that one. Reflections of Ditjara. Choose a creature type. Whenever you cast a spell, the chosen two. Okay. Alright. I kind of want to just see if we get anything else out of these comments and uncommons. Not... Ooh, a spider with reach. Oh, a 4-2 with reach for three? Maybe. Tuskery Firewalker. Uh, ooh, Gates of it. Oh, look at that. That's pretty. Gates of Istvel. And there's a battlefield tapped. Add white mana. Sacrifice gets to gain two life. Okay. Dusk Welder. Elf Berserker. Did we look at this one a second ago? I feel like we did. What's my rare? Doom Scar. All right, all right. I've already seen that. Yeah, we're getting into a lot of these where we've already seen them. Ooh, look at that. Ice went. Ice bind. Ice bind pillar. Tap target creature or artifact. Okay. For three. Oh, it's an artifact. Must me do that each turn. Hmm. There's a giant wizard. When Bergstrider enters the battlefield, tap target artifact or creature an opponent controls. If snow mana was spent to cast a spell, that permanent doesn't untap. Ooh, nice. Battle of Frost and Fire. Battle of Frost and Fire deals four damage to each non-giant creature in each planeswalker. Scry for three. And then last but not least, whenever you cast a spell with converted mana cost five or greater, 
draw two cards, then discard a card. Uh, okay. Next pack. Okay, we're definitely seeing a lot of the same things now, except for uncommons. Oh, look at him. Betrayer King. Other snow and zombie creatures you control get... <gasps> oh, ho, ho. Oh, play three snow and return him from your graveyard to the battlefield. Tapped. Oh, I like him. Rune of Flight. When Rune of Flight enters the battlefield, draw a card. As long as Enchanted Permanent is a creature, it has flying. As long as Enchanted Permanent is an equipment, it is equipment. Okay. Yeah. What's my rare? Herald unites the elves. Mill three cards. You may put an elf or tie bar card. Put a one one. Meh. Next pack. Grizzled Outrider. It's the only one we have we haven't seen yet. Have I se I don't remember seeing Alpine Meadow. That's alright, I suppose. Ice Hide Tro? I don't remember seeing that. Oh, he gets indestructible. Yeah. That's my rip. Toski! Oh, it's a legendary squirrel. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, it's indestructible. This spell can't be countered. Toski bears secrets attacks each combat if able. Whenever a creature you control deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. That's a 1-1 one, one for 4, but it is indestructible, which is kind of funny. Next pack. Indestructible squirrels. So what I, I want a whole deck built around that. Uh, let's see. I've seen that. I've seen that way down. Three seasons. Mill three cards. Return up to two targets. Snow permanent from your graveyard to your hand. Choose three cards in each graveyard. Their owner shuffles those cards in the libraries. Uh, the Dream Devourer. Each non-land card in your hand without foretell has foretell. Its foretell cost is equal to its mana cost reduced by two. Whenever you foretell a card, Dream Devourer gets plus two. Oh. Huh. That could be interesting. Might have to do something with that guy right there. Is he legendary? He is not legendary. Hmm. I'm beginning thoughts running through my head of deck ideas. Just to play around with. Run ashore. I think we've seen that one. Broken wings. Take these broken wings. And destroy a target effect. Chapman of creature with flying. Rune of Might. Chant permanent. Rune of Might enters the battlefield. Draw a card. Laws enchanted permanent is a creature. Gets plus one, plus one, has trample. Laws enchanted permanent is an equipment. And as a creature, gets plus one, plus one, has trample. Huh. Indigo Rune Eyes. Uh, Biscry three. When she dies, draw three cards. Three more. Nah, she doesn't seem very good. What's my rare? Oh, it's the Cat Chariot again. Okay. Volatile Ford enters the battlefield tapped. Oh, okay. That's a red and blue uh, tap land. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. There's Raven Wings again. Cinderheart Giant. Ice Bind Pillar. Replicating Ring. Add one mana of any color. At the beginning of your upkeep, put a Night Counter on Replicating Ring. Then if it has eight or more Night Counters on it, remove all of them and create eight colorless snow artifact tokens named Replicated Ring. What? That sounds complicated. I'll have to look into that more. My rare is... Oh, it's the little squirrel again. We'll do the last ten packs all at once. Snowfield Sinkhole. It's a plains and a swamp. Hmm, cool. Gold Mall Champion. Warhorn Blast. I haven't seen that yet. Creatures you control get plus two, plus one until end of turn. We've seen that, we've seen that, we've seen that. What's this? Runeforge Champion. 
enters the battlefield. You may search the library and or graveyard for a rune card. Reveal it. Put it in your hand. If you search your library this way, shuffle it. We may pay one rather than pay the mana cost for rune spells you cast. Oh, okay, cool. I suppose. I suppose it's all right. Broken Wings, Wings of the Cosmos, Breakneck Berserker, Dog Pursuit, Masked Vandal, Kai's Onslaught. Teams. Yeah, we've seen all of these. Give me a good rare. Rally the Ranks. Ranks enters the battlefield. Choose a creature type. Creature you control the chosen type. Get plus one, plus one. Oh, yeah, plus one, plus one. Huh. Next pack. First time we've seen that one. Roots of Wisdom. Mill three cards. Return a land card or elf card from your graveyard to your hand. If you can't, draw a card. God's Hall Guardian. Oh, it's a big kitty. Look at the big kitty. He's expensive. But he's so furry. Uh, Straight target. She finds one Replicating ring. Okay, what's this? Realm Walker. Realm Walkers enter battlefield. Choose a creature type. Look at the top card of your library any time. You may cast creature spells of the chosen type from the top of your library. Ah. Aww. That could be interesting. Changelings are every creature type. So if you use him and you play a changeling deck, I could name any creature type and every creature would be that type. Alright, we're going to open the last 10 packs all at once. Uh, let's see. Egon, the god of death. Death touch. At the beginning of your upkeep, exile two cards from your graveyard. If you can't, sacrifice. That's a 6-6 six, six for 3. Begin of your upkeep, mill a card, and play 3. Exile a creature card from your graveyard. Draw a card. Hmm. In search of greatness. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may cast a permanent spell from your hand with converted mana cost equal to 1, plus the highest converted mana cost among other permanents you control without paying its mana cost. If you don't, scry one. That sounds good. Sort of. Like, I feel like I can break that. Um, Cosmos Charger. Foretelling cards from your hand costs one less and can be done on any player's turn. Tyrite Sanctum. Target creature becomes god in addition to this other types. Tyvar Kell. Legendary Planeswalker Tyvar. Elves you control have add black. Put a 1 1 counter on. Get a emblem of whenever you cast an elf spell, it gains haste until in the turn you draw two cards. That's not bad. Blessing of Frost. Distribute X 1 1 counters among any number of creatures you control, where X is the amount of snow mana spent to cast a spell you draw. Before. Battle for. Bretigard. Create a 1 1 white human warrior. Create 1 1. Okay, so that's it. That's all the cards we got. I did not see that World Tree card anywhere, which is supposed to be really good. That kind of sucks. Guess we didn't get that one. But I got lots of uh, wild cards and stuff, so that's pretty good. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Like I said, it was just going to be a quick video opening packs today. Uh, what I'm going to do is I want to look through these, some of these cards and see what we can do as far as making some decks. I may even buy some core set packs or something, possibly. I'm going to build me a couple of decks and we're going to start making some videos and stuff here for some uh, MTG Arena because I'm, I'm getting back into MTG. I really love magic. Used to have a, I used to own a store where this is what I did. It was a hobby store we did mostly Magic the Gathering and I used to love playing and collecting the cards and stuff. So this is right up my alley. I love this game. I'm I'm happy to kind of be coming back to it. Is it it's an expensive game for sure. 
But at least MTG Arena is a little more affordable than the real cards. If you guys are looking to see me actually open the real cards, don't worry. I'll be doing a video here real soon where I'll be opening packs. Actual packs, not digital. So look for that. In the meantime, thanks for being here. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next episode. Or next video, I should say. Wherever you are in the world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Good night. See you later.